Good readings, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to Rust Closed Alpha, a.k.a. Naked and Afraid. Because indeed, that is how you start the game. Completely in the buff, and also paranoid. This is an online multiplayer game. There's uh, several people out there with one thought in mind, and that is to murder you and take your stuff. So we need to act fast. And in this video, I'm going to show you guys how to survive your first night. So I just started this new character. And one of the first things you're going to want to do is put your rock in your hand. And now it's starting to get to nighttime. And just start banging on some rocks. These rocks out here, these boulders, spawn randomly in the uh, wilderness. And every time you hit one with a rock or an axe or something... It'll yield some stones, some sulfur, and potentially some metal ore. The number you get from each is random. But you've got to be quick and you've got to keep looking around you because if someone sees that rock and you on it, they'll probably just kill you and then take all the stuff and then uh, and then take the rock on themselves too. So, and that is the name of the game. It is Survival of the Fittest right now in Closed Alpha. Pretty much everyone is fair game. It's mostly shoot on sight or, well, brain on sight, I guess, if you hit somebody with a rock. The game is um, being developed by Face Punch Studios, same people that brought us Gary's Mod. And they have drawn inspiration from games like DayZ. Minecraft and Stalker. So ultimately what they're looking for is an open world uh, PvP with zombies. Um, obviously you have to survive not only the elements but also other players. So right now I'm looking around for... Oh, there's somebody right here. I'm looking for a source of wood other than a tree. <laughs> but, oh, here we go. Okay, here's a log pile. Now, you can whack a tree if you want, and you get one piece of wood from every tree. Thump. But it's really slow and really dangerous. And as you can see here, when I hit this uh, pile of wood, I'm getting seven logs per swipe. And that's what you want. So you want to start out gathering wood and rock. Because we want to make a hatchet. And then we can work faster. We can make a stone hatchet with wood and stone. And your gathering task will become much, much more efficient. Let's see what we have. Oh, 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 that's radiation over there. Don't want to go there. So pretty much everything here will kill you. It can kill you and will try. <laughs> there's wildlife, there's zombies, and there are other players. Uh, and there's radiation. So let's not stand out in the middle of the road in the radiation. And I would show you my naked body right now, but um, there's no there's no third person in the game, as far as I know. So let's uh, let's take a quick look at my inventory here. If I hit pre if I press tab, I can see that I've gathered 159 wood. Although you do start with some. I'm not sure exactly how much. I've got some metal ore from those stones that I've collected, or boulders that I've beaten to death. We've got some stones out of there as well, and some sulfur ore. So what I want to do is make a hatchet. I can use this not only as a tool for gathering more efficiently, but also as a weapon. It's a horrible starting weapon, but it's better than not that. It's better than a rock or your fists. As you can see down on the right-hand corner, you'll, um, you'll note that it says uh, crafting. Oh, there it goes. And I walk much slower. So anytime you craft, there's a short period of time where you you actually, um, you can't run, you can't sprint, and you and you basically just have to uh, kind of walk very slowly. All right, that's done. Let's grab my hatchet. So this is just a matter of dragging and dropping. Put it in my slot one, and now, now watch how much faster I swing. Now I can grab some wood from trees. It's much quicker. But I don't need to do that. I have enough wood to show you guys how to survive the first night <laughs> so we have 153 wood that's plenty to make a wooden shelter you need 50 for a wooden shelter so go ahead and select that in your crafting window here 
and press craft and now again I'm walking very slowly as I'm building that so these are all of the recipes that you know off the bat when you start the game you have access to all of these recipes but or, well they call them blueprints in rust and you can find more blueprints in the game as you play if you kill zombies which are controlled by um by the computer obviously the npcs they have a tendency to drop blueprints now see how much faster i'm gathering this stone much much better Um, and you can also find loot boxes just out in the wilderness. Uh, of course, you can kill all the players, too. That might have some blueprints, but... I wouldn't worry about that right now. Let's get our door crafted up. That takes 30 wood. So you're going to need 80 wood for your shelter. And I believe it was 10 for your hatchet, right? Oh, oh no, no, no. It was 10 for the hatchet. So you're going to need about 90 to 100 wood right off the bat. So, and that's where those wood piles really come into play. Now, wood piles and rocks will just spawn randomly in on the map after a while. But they are, um, it's like gold. If you see a stone out there, just before you run to it and start whacking it, just make sure there's nobody else in the area. Because they're going to be doing the same thing, most likely. All right, let's get our shelter down. And we'll be safe in our shelter. So we've got my shelter here, which is just a little shack, essentially. Put that in our hands. This is a fine spot. And we'll just drop that down right there. Hop inside. Get the door. And we'll place it right in front. Make sure there's no creases or holes. I'm going to get it just right. Because people can shoot through cracks. And animals can bite through cracks. So I think that looks good. Boom! We are safe for the night relatively and you can open and close this door and you as the owner of the shack and that door the, the person that places the door owns it just the door not the shack um it will be locked for everyone but me so if someone comes over here and tries to open that door it's going to say this door is locked now that doesn't mean they can't get in they have a chance of getting in if they uh if they have the proper tool you can whack at it with an axe and it's going to take a long time but they can't eventually get in so while we're here, since we have extra wood, we might as well continue. Let me show you how to make a campfire so we can get warm in here. Because as you can see down here, I'm cold. And the colder I am, the faster my food will deplete. This is something that you have to consider. Your food, your heat, your body temperature. Of course, um, you've got to worry about the animals out there, the wild animals, the zombies, and the other players. And now let's... Oh, there goes gunfire. Someone's shooting something. There's our fire. And if I click on that, we use it. We can set it alight, and now you can see that I'm comforted. And if I hold down my E key when I point to this, you have a menu that pops up. So I can open this up and drop more wood on this fire if I'd like to, because it does need wood for fueling it, and you can cook food. So the next consideration is food but of course i have shown you now how to survive your first night and once you get inside this hut you can uh you can hang out here in relative safety as long as nobody's got tnt and not tnt but there are explosives and they can blast through your door or a really fine axe but it would take a while and you could probably log out if they attempt that um but you, you can craft guns and ammo and uh, you can get some armor etc and that's, uh, we're going to take a look at that in the next couple of videos. So why don't we head out? Let's just keep that fire. We'll keep the fire lit. Just so we don't get lost. I would like to find some food because your food is going to go fast. You don't start with any food. So one of the first things you want to do is locate a pig or a chicken. And in fact, I would say before you place down your first shelter. Walk around, if it's safe, walk around and look for a place that has a few pigs hanging around. Because that means they're going to spawn there. Oh, there's bullets in this crate. Nice. At this point, there really isn't much you can do. You don't really want to be running around in the middle of the night. 
But if you do want to do that, you can take out your torch and let everybody know where you are. <laughs> but I think what I'm going to do is get back to my shelter. That's it for this episode, guys. That's how you survive a first night. You want to chop some wood, get some stone, and get indoors. Um, and hopefully when the sun comes up, you'll find a nice source of food out there and you can cook them up. Ooh, we've got some charcoal here. You'll need that to make gunpowder. To make some ammo. Oh, one very quick critical tip here. Do not log out inside your shelter. In fact, I'm going to log out right now, so I'm going to shut off the fire. I'm going to go outside. I'm going to log out outside of that shelter because, like I said earlier, if someone um, happens to come along and they knock down your door and then they move in and put up a door of their own, then it's going to be locked. Next time you log in, you might find yourself stuck in a shack that you can't get out of. So I usually leave the shelter and log out here. All right, we'll see you guys in the next episode. We'll go do some hunting. All right, take care. Bye-bye. Another day to live through. Better get started. Oh, did you see that? <laughs> it was quiet a second ago. <laughs> and that's how the spawns operate so far. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, what are you doing in my church, man? All right, they've come to pray. It's day 16. It must be Sunday. Um... That was interesting. Okay, I thought I was secure inside here, but apparently not. Hello, everybody. It's day 16, 8.30 in the morning, and welcome to Sunday Mass. Die. 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 Mass. No Mass today. There. 